Hello and welcome to the video. Today I've got a nice little uh, gameplay footage of having a fairly decent game in my Apiary and Rattle 90. Just going to fast forward straight through to the action. And poor little T44 got shot in the side, but seeing as he was going to be fully repaired quickly, I decided just to bypass and rush straight forwards. Anyway, as you can see, I'm just uh, trying to look around the corner there, push forward and through the safe zone. And I notice there's people straight ahead of me, and I'm thinking, oh crap. Hopefully, my armor can deal with it and I can just sit there. So, knocking the tree out of the way, trying to angle a bit. See if I can get him to waste his shot, which he does. Now I've got a tree on top of me, which was quite annoying at the time. But uh, that soon gets out of the way. See the guy, fire. I was hoping to kill the act kill the uh, M48, but Leopard's a nice kill anyway. Now if I've got the position captured, I want to try and get out of the way so then they can't just pop around the corner and shoot me. Come along, sit down here where it's a nice little corner camp, especially when you've got a derp gun. This, uh, yeah, you can see you get the position here, you can cover and the position here. So I'm just waiting for this guy to pop around, trying to bait him by looking away. Which he comes in, fire, bang. I notice that we've lost the cap, so I'm trying to back up a little bit, I'm concerned about that. I want to go and recap, then this guy comes and rushing me. Thankfully, all he did was hit my um, ERA blocks, and he does it again. So, poor little uh, M41, bang. Now that there's all the smoke there, I'm not too happy because I can't see what's coming at me now. So I'm just trying to watch both corners, trying to listen to where the enemy tanks are at. Which is a bit hard to do with all the friendlies around, but I can hear that I'm fairly safe. So I'm just waiting. Now the uh, smoke's gone. And I just tried to sneak around. I thought the Tiger 2 was dead for some reason, but... Oh well, he got me. Just fast forward to the next uh, little bit. And now I'm in my Rattel 90. So I decided, okay, I'm just going to rush straight through. I can see we're getting shot out while we're trying to get out of our spawn. So I'm just trying to pick up as much speed, try and get down to the roads and get straight through. Um, when I first had, well, when I was playing this game, the Vatel still had the giant bloody uh, wheel on the back here, so you couldn't actually shoot off the back of your vehicle, which was annoying as hell, as you can imagine. So later on you'll see how I'm manoeuvring so then I can start shooting off the front again. That's simply why. If the wheel was already gone, I would have used the engine block as protection because this thing does not have um, hull brake yet. Well, it's not going to get it, I don't think. It. But we'll see. I didn't notice this guy over here because he's behind the cover of the other vehicle, but he definitely sees me. So I'm just thinking, oh, shot came through there, so I was going to look there. He shoots, ricochets, I see him, shot straight through, down he goes. Now I'm just uh, trying to sit, relax, thinking what's going to go, on, what's going to come now. See the machine gun fire there, so I was thinking, oh, something might come along. Now I'm just thinking, okay, I, I want to get over here, try and retake A, and try and engage the enemies over here. But this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's looking around, he's pulling back, he's pulling into weird angles. It's not being helpful, really, for me. But. I assume he's wanting to protect himself from over here as well. So I just pop over, just look around him, then I suddenly hear and something over this way coming in from the right. Just now I hear it. Thinking, oh no, these guys are probably going to be engaging it, so I may as well come back, engage whatever is coming here from my flank. And my first shot, a kind of whiff. I take out his track and damage some ammunition, but do not kill him. So I come back around, aim a bit better, bang, down he goes. That's the main thing you have to be careful of with this ammunition. It's the same with the AML-90, because it's the same gun and so on. You have to be very careful where you shoot certain tanks, because 
if you miss it, you screw yourself. So there was a guy over there. So quickly just hit, hit into here. And there goes the guy behind me. I see the M26 has this side covered. So I'm just going to pop through, pop round to A. Like I was in, originally intending to do. See this friendly over there. And in I squidge through all the wreckages. Check my left just to make sure there's nothing there because there was something earlier. Look through the right, nothing there. I know there's something here. See him. Shooting through the bushes. I really messed this one up. Should have really killed him on the first shot, but I take three shots to kill him. But seeing as he wasn't paying attention to me, I thought, oh, okay, I may as well just take out his gun. And down he goes. Yeah, this is the part where um, if I didn't have that wheel there at the time, I would have just pulled straight in and used my back as cover. But because it's it was there, I had to do this weird turning situation. Now I'm just, uh, you know, covering myself, covering my ally who's down over here, making sure neither of us get hit too badly. I accidentally left the cap there for a second because weird cap physics. Jump back in, finish cap in, and off we go again. Seeing as I noticed on the map that we've got lots of people up here, I decided, oh, I'll just pop down this way. Because why not? May as well set up a proper defense line. If no one else is down here, let's see. Oh, lovely bits of cover. So first I'm just going to sit here for a little bit, check, make sure enough it's coming along, quickly rush over to this next one, and see if the enemies that my friendlies have marked up. Again, yeah, for some reason HeatFS has some weird physics at times. There we go, set him on fire, but got the assist instead I think on that one. Now I'm just sitting here, looking a bit pretty using the gigantic AMX uh, hull for cover. And I see there's a guy there. I've marked him up for my allies. Just waiting to see if he'll pop over the ridge. Which he will nicely do for me. I'll hit him, take out a few of his crew, take his track. But he manages to reverse kind of into cover. But still doesn't save him, get my second shot off and take him out. Now I'm just sitting there, I'd notice there's something going across the lorang flank. Friendlies have marked it. So I thought, oh, I'll quickly rush out and outflank him if possible. I also noticed that my ally there was needing repairs, but I didn't really want to go and do that with an enemy over there. Yeah, I noticed he's been killed, so I'm just going to quickly drive around the corner here, go back to him and repair him, because I just see, gun's out. He can't repair himself, it seems, so... Yeah. Always be a nice person, always repair your friends. Now just taking a quick look, see if there's nothing there yet, look around the other side, don't see anything, so I decide, okay, oh, something shoots at me from over this way, over near sea, so I quickly reverse, get myself back into cover, and decide I'm going to go back to where I was sat before, as I would have a bit more cover from the right hand flank. As with the but, well, the optics on this thing are not good. I think they're still the um, like times three or something, which um, vehicles get as a like placeholder basic sight. It should be times six, but we'll see. Have we'll see if Gaijin fixes that. But anyway, that's the uh, end of the round. Team has victory. 
Uh, eight kills, a couple of caps, few assists, one death. Not too bad in my opinion. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And um, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.